How you guys doing? Welcome back to Country Mash. I hope you guys have been awesome. Today I'm doing my first EDC video or everyday carry video. And it's not going to be like your typical EDC video because I'm actually not going to show you guys everything that I carry in this video. I could do that in a separate video if you guys want me to do that. But this video, I'm showing you guys the gear that I've been carrying for many years. Like I'm talking four, five, eight years that has truly lasted the test of time. All right, so I have to be completely honest with you guys. Um, I wasn't planning to do this video today. I was actually trying to get out um, an initial impressions video for the Glock 45 nine millimeter, um, but due to weather conditions, rain, snow, and a lot of wind, and to be totally honest with you, it's the wind, um, it makes it difficult to get some of the shots I wanna get. So um, impromptu EDC video insert here. This is my EDC video, and I've been wanting to do one ever since I started the channel, just haven't got around to it. Um, and so this is it. And I'm not going to show you guys, like I said earlier, I'm not showing you guys everything that I carry because some of the things I carry now, um, are, are new within the last several months, maybe even the last year. And I want to show you guys the gear that I've been carrying for many years that has really proven itself gear that is so hardy. It has been on my person and used and abused and actually seen some pretty hairy stuff. Um, <laughs> I'm not gonna get into that, but let's just get into the gear. Let's talk about the stuff that I've been using for a long time um, that has really proven itself. All right guys, so we're gonna start back here with the Leatherman Style PS. Um, this originally was purchased because I was traveling out of state, um, I was flying, and I didn't want to check a bag, so I just did carry on. And you're obviously not allowed to have a knife and my other multi-tool which is a leatherman wave has a blade on it and so i wanted to have something i don't like being without tools i like to always have as much as i could possibly have so i picked this up on amazon because it has some some pretty basic tools that you use all the time you have um your mini pliers um it has some little wire cutters in there you do have scissors, which are, um, and, and when I say, I'm going to say TSA compliant, um, but that's not guaranteed. Like these aren't officially certified to be TSA compliant, but it is missing the things that TSA prohibits. And so I've, I've brought this on planes in my pocket with me um, several times and I've had, um, I've had some questions about it, but ultimately they let me through with it. They did not take it. Um, but so you have your, your mini scissors. Um, which are really sharp. I've used them quite a bit. You do have some tiny tweezers that slide in here. And you have a nail file um, that also has a little pointed tip. So you can use it for little flathead screws or um, even a Phillips, you can fit it in there. And I've used it for a lot of that stuff. It has a little clip um, that you could put on your keychain, which I don't, I just slip it in my pocket like this. Um, and it's also a bottle opener, which um, that gets used quite a bit. And this this little part right here, it's not meant to be used as anything, but some of the bigger um, flathead screws or on some of my optics um, and scopes, um, I use this part right here to adjust kind of like you would for like a, a coin or something like that. So um, I use this all the time. It's tiny. It weighs almost nothing. And um, it's great to just slip in your pocket. You can't even tell it's there, um, but super useful. And um, there, there will be links down in the description box. Um, I don't remember all the prices offhand, um, but there, there will be links down in the description box if you guys are interested in checking these out. Um, this is a titanium uh, keychain pocket clip um, or just a belt clip or pants clip. Essentially, this is a keychain. You attach your keys on here and then this clips onto your pocket and it's titanium so this really weighs nothing it is extremely lightweight and this is also a bottle opener um, so you can either hook this on your pocket on the outside um, which i do actually quite often um, my keys will be hanging on the outside of my pocket or you could put your keys in your pocket and hook this on so it keeps your keys from bunching down to the bottom of your pocket and um, it look, it's a little bit more uniform a little bit more comfortable and it's also easier to access when you want to grab your keys quickly 
um, because you just have to grab this and it pulls your keys right out of your pocket. So this uh, this does stay on my keychain typically, but um, I'm not gonna have my keys up here because I don't wanna show my keys all over the internet. Um, but yeah, this typically does stay on my keychain. This also stays on my keychain, which is a through night um, TI3 uh, flashlight. It has three settings. Um, it's like a, a moonlight, you can't even really see it on there. Um, and then a medium and a high. And I want to say this, the high on this is like 120 lumens. Um, again, there's be links down in the description box. And I always have other flashlights on me um, separately, but I always like to have a flashlight on my keychain as well. Um, just, you never know um, when you need an extra flashlight. Um, I, I have a ton of flashlights, honestly, everywhere. Um, but it's just a lightweight AAA flashlight. So it's a common battery. Um, I've had this for a long time and it's held up great. This is an aluminum one, it's anodized. I think they have a stainless steel and a titanium version. At least they did when I bought this a long time ago. Um, so I love this thing. And this little guy, you guys are probably wondering what that is. You're probably not gonna be able to tell. I'll roll in maybe a clip um, of this guy in the dark, but this is a tritium vial. And so it's a tritium vial in a stainless steel cage or you know holder just to protect it and this will glow in the dark for i want to say they rated it 12 to 15 years i think um around there anyways and it glows without needing light so it's just like night sights on a firearm um the tritium always glows and so this is great to have on your keys um, because in any situation in the dark you will be able to see your keys and this glows pretty bright actually um, i really do love this thing um, I personally don't have any reservations or concerns about this being next to my junk when it's in my pocket. Some people may be worried about that because this is technically, um, what is it, like decaying radioactive material. Um, but uh, yeah, it, it's so small and it's it really is not going to be an issue, at least with the research I've done. But if you're worried about it, please, um, by all means, do your own research and look into it. Um, but this is awesome. So this is a wallet that, man, I, I've gone through a ton of wallets. I think everyone probably has. But um, I, I decided to go with a thin wallet. So this is a, um, it's not a bifold or a trifold. It's simply just a um, pocket in the middle. This is an area where you slide in your um, ID from the side. There's another pocket right there and then two right there. This is from Saddleback Leather. I found this on Amazon. And I have had this for a long time. Um, it did used to be all matte leather. The entire wallet was like that. And now you can see it's shiny from going in and out of my pocket so much. Um, but having a thin wallet like this, um, it keeps you from putting too much in it. And it's also a lot easier to throw in your front pocket or um, oftentimes this will go in my front cargo pocket um, in my pants or shorts. And it has lasted a long time. None of the stitching has come loose. I want to say I've had this, I think, for maybe four or five years. Um, there's no, there's nothing wearing on it other than just the finish becoming shiny. So I love this wallet. I'll probably have this wallet for another five years. And um, yeah, so um, oh, it says made in old Mexico. So that's where it's made. It smells awesome too because it's a, uh, it's really good genuine leather. Um, next is the Surefire E2D Defender Flashlight. Um, this flashlight has seen quite a bit. Um, it has a lot of wear on it. Um, this is the older version where it has a little bit sharper um, crenulations on the bezel. Um, and this is, I want to say it was 200 lumens. So that's your high comes on first and then your low. I have always loved the tint of the light that's on this old E2D Defender. It is probably one of the purest white lights um, out of all the flashlights I've ever owned. Even the new Surefires, a lot of them have either a yellow or a green tint. And the, to an extent, it, it's not that big of a deal, but I typically like a pure white um, to a warm kind of a hue. Anyways, enough about that. This has been a solid light. Um, I mean, I'll roll in some close-ups on all this stuff as I talk about it. But um, the only thing that I've had to replace is the tail cap. Um, I started getting some flickering and um, I called Surefire. I actually went into Surefire. I used to live down the street from them and I went in, told them about it and they said, oh, you just need a new clicky cap. 
And um, so they gave me this new one and it started working good as new again. I still carry this. Um, not, I don't carry this every single day now. Um, I, I do rotate flashlights a little bit, um, but this is still something I carry. I've had this for probably eight years, no, seven years, a long time. And um, it has been thrown, it has been dropped. Um, it has been dropped off of, I wanna say three story high buildings off of the roof. Um, it has been used for defense. It has been used um, in a lot of in a lot of good situations for good guys. Um, so love Surefire. I love their E2D defenders. Um, I do want to upgrade to that. I think they have the thousand lumen model now. Um, I would uh, want to upgrade to that simply because two hundred lumens is a little bit on the low side these days. Um, but Nonetheless, this is a solid light that I will continue to use um, for many, many, many years. This is not last but not least because there is one other thing that um, it's just too big to have up on the table. Um, but this watch I have been wearing exclusively every day for the last eight years. And it is solid. Um, right now, I think it was $98 on Amazon the last time I checked. When I bought it, I think it was like $220. Um, but it's a G-Shock, a Casio G-Shock. Pretty basic. It has um, blue illumination. It has your date. Um, it tells you it's Monday. Uh, this is 211. If you guys can probably tell. This video will be uploaded um, probably tomorrow, maybe. And uh, so... It has a lot of information. Obviously, the basics, stopwatch, a timer, different modes, all that. Um, I'll let you guys check it out um, more in detail if you guys want to check out the link. Um, but this watch has, uh, again, I'll, I'll roll in some close-ups so you guys can see maybe a little bit better. Um, but it has some wear and tear on it. It has been abused. It has seen quite a few things as well. Um, some of the things that have happened are um, I do have a little bit of a tear in um, this part of the band, but um, it hasn't compromised its functionality. And then this, I actually noticed the other day, um, this little sleeve that holds the band down, um, where'd it go, is tearing right there. So you can buy extra bands, and it comes with this for like 20 bucks, I think. Um, but this is solar powered, and so it's rechargeable from um, the sun or any light. I, I want to say when I first got it, I think the paperwork said the rechargeable battery is good for 10 years. And I'm coming up on nine years pretty soon. And um, I may even just buy a whole new one because I love this watch so much. Um, I know it will last me probably another eight to 10 years. Um, I think it says it's a 20 bar water resistant. It's sealed really well. You can dive with this watch. And um, yeah, so super solid watch. So now I'm going to move all this stuff aside real quick and I'm going to show you guys my last piece of gear that I have had for a long time. All right, so this is a GORUCK GR1. This has been my EDC bag for, I want to say I've had this for about five, I think more than five years. GORUCK has since changed their design a little bit. So this is one of the original first designs that they made, but this is a bomb proof backpack. I am not gonna get into what is inside. That um, will be a completely uh, different video, um, but this is my EDC bag, get home bag. I may not have it on my person everywhere I go, but I ruck with it. This is the same bag that I work out with when I go rucking, and it's the same bag that I use for EDC gear. It goes with me literally everywhere. When I go camping, when I go shooting, when I travel, this is the bag I use. Everything I need fits in it when I travel for at least four days. Um, it's 26 liter, so this is the GR1 26 liter. Um, I'll put a link down in the description box below for what they offer now. I wanna say they, they offer the same or similar setups, but um, I actually haven't checked in a while, so um, it may be a little bit different. Um, this patch is it's a leather patch of an american flag that is also from go ruck um, i have a stream light uh, i don't even know what they call this it's a tiny little oh nano it's the nano light from stream light it's just like a little button cell light um, i keep it on the zipper just because it's good to have extra lights like i mentioned earlier 
and also um, a carabiner to attach um, Nalgene bottles or hats, whatever you want to attach on there. And um, it's just good to have. So inside of here, you could put a, I want to say a 15 inch laptop in the 26 liter. And inside of this, um, there's a little Velcro tab. When you buy the GORUCK, it comes with a plastic sheet to keep this portion stiff against your back. So when you, when you have a lot of weight in here, it's not gonna sag. But I chose to put um, my own Kydex in here that's a little bit thicker and a little bit stiffer than what originally comes with it. And um, I'm glad I did. I really like that I did that. Um, it keeps it um, very comfortable on my back when I'm carrying about 45 pounds is what I used to ruck with. Um, as extremely comfortable padding. But um, like I said, I'll, I'll do a separate video going more into depth about this guy. I just wanted to show you guys um, some of the gear that I have had for a long time that I absolutely love. And this is, I got a little dirty from that table there, but uh, <laughs> this is solid. I love this backpack. And that pretty much wraps up all of the gear that has really, um, that I still use. This still goes with me everywhere. It wraps up all the gear that I, uh, that I really, really believe in. So that pretty much wraps it up, guys. Um, like I said before, there will be some links down in the description box for most of the stuff um, if you guys are interested in any of it. Um, but yeah, so that's it for that video. Um, hopefully you guys enjoyed it. Hopefully you got some sort of value out of it if you're looking for some solid EDC gear. Um, yeah, so if you guys like the video, go ahead and hit that like button. Thank you to everyone who subscribed to the channel. You guys rock. Thank you for your support. I hope you guys have a great rest of your day, and I'll see you next time.